What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Steve Fast, and behind me we have the Mud Mouse, the 2000 F-150. Now, for this truck, we're kind of going with like maybe a post-apocalyptic kind of look with it. We're probably gonna do some black paint work on it. Just kind of make it look a little bit more cool than a smashed old truck is basically what it was before. I did kind of mock up some headlights here a little bit, but we do have something very special for this truck and a huge thanks to Oxbeam for sending us this new product for this truck. I think it's gonna absolutely transform it. So let's have a look. And here it is everybody. We have a 42 inch, oh yes, 42 inches of LED light bar glory from Oxbeam. This is their V series RGB light bar. And you can see on the ends, we do have the floodlights. And then in the center, it has a spot. And then you can actually control it with the Bluetooth module on an app on your phone. And you can do all kinds of light patterns. You can dim it, you can change different colors. And I can't wait to try this thing out. And as per usual, I couldn't wait to open this, so I took everything out of the box already. But you can see we do have nice foam packaging right here that goes along the light bar, and then it has this protection on it as well when it is in the box. And over here, we have our wiring harness that goes to our Bluetooth module. And then over here, we have our relay, our fuse, all our main wiring components, and the switch as well. And over here, we have our mounting hardware. You can mount these pretty much any which way depending on your application. So on our truck, I was thinking of the best place that I could possibly mount this. I was actually thinking of going kind of right here in the front and doing kind of like a cyber truck kind of look. But I think these lights that I found were actually going to work a little bit better because they kind of fit where the wiring came out for the original headlights. And then it kind of gives it a little bit more of a character. And once this is all painted black, it probably will look a whole lot better. But as far as putting it in the middle, I think it would get blocked by this off-road bumper. And I think these lights are just going to be a better fit. Plus, we already have these little LEDs actually the truck came with. And I actually stuck the Ford symbol there so we know that it is Ford tough. So I think our best bet is gonna be on the roof with this one. So let's get our brackets out, get this thing assembled and get it installed on top of the truck. All right, so this is the kind of drill and then measure type method. By no means do I recommend it, but this is what we're doing for this truck. I think we're right where the sun visor kind of bolts on. So I'm gonna remove the sun visor. Maybe we can see where our hole's at. You don't need a sun visor. Shout out to Zip Ties and Vice Flies. You guys never checked him out. You guys are nuts. We're from Alberta, so yeehaw. I'm not, I don't think it was actually completely lined up with that. But let's just keep on drilling and see what we find. There we go. Yeah, we'll figure out how to get a nut in there at some point or another. Alright, so now what I'm going to do. I just realized this hood's aluminum. They're putting aluminum on Ford back in 2000. Crazy. Doesn't help me for putting my magnet on anything though, but either way. All right, so you can see we have our hardware installed on the one side. So now all I gotta do is attach our light bar and then measure for the other leg that's gonna go onto the driver's side. And we should be good to go for this project. So upon further inspection, you can see, well, the light bar is just a little bit over on the passenger side, but I think it was meant to be because I do plan on putting an air intake on this truck, kind of like a snorkel DIY style. We're gonna go up this side and up over here, and that's gonna give us a little extra room on the driver's side, so perfect. So the wiring harness is actually pretty nice. Everything's nicely loomed, heat shrunk, everything. They have your relay here. 
We've got our two leads that are gonna go to our battery. And then we also have a connection for our Bluetooth module that we're gonna have to mount as well. And on this one, we do have our switch. This is gonna be our on and off. And then over here on our Bluetooth module, we have this little one kind of one touch button. And this is gonna switch it between the modes. So we're gonna have to find a place for this one as well. All right, so we got our wiring pretty much in order. I have to just zip tie everything up just so everything's gonna stay in place. And I kinda gotta make something happen where it goes up the pillar there. But all in all, all our connections are made. Let's hit the switch and see what this thing looks like. Here we go, first startup. Oh yes, look at that. We got it, it went white and then went to red. Let's turn it off and on one more time. There we go, there we got the light. I feel I'm getting a suntan over here. This thing is crazy bright. Let me close the hood real quick. Let's get a really good look at this thing. And here it is everybody, our Aux Beam 42 inch V series light bar and this thing is blinding. You can definitely tell the difference between the floods on the side and then the spot in the middle. But now let's get our app out and play with the colors a little bit. All right, so I got my app open on my phone. The app is called Carlight and get in the app store. I'm sure it works the same for Android or Apple. Currently we're on a iPhone. But right now you can see I do have this one selected. And when you first connect, it'll show the Bluetooth of your light and then you just kind of say where that light is on the vehicle and then you can switch between different zones if you do have more than one light. Obviously we only have the one, so we're gonna go into mode and it gives you all kinds of different stuff and I'm gonna have to brace myself for this one because I pretty much blinded myself the first time I did this. There we go, we have white and I'm trying to look down because this light is super bright. Now, on the bottom here, you can see I have these two right here, and I actually made these custom. If you go to the addition little button right here, you can actually do whatever you want. You can make whatever colors, you can make it strobe or whatever, but who doesn't want to have the cop lights? So I did the first one like this, and it makes it go kind of in a flash pattern. I think, no, this one's in strobe. And I have it turned pretty much all the way up. And then I made another one and this one's in the jump mode. So it kind of looks a little bit more kind of like a cop car, but you can turn up the speed right here, have it go a little bit faster or however, which way you want to do it with different colors. It kind of is nice to have that option to kind of customize it your own way. So other than that, there is a bunch of different things you can do. There's a record mode, there's a music mode. If you have tunes playing, it can go to the music. You can just go to the regular color wheel and kind of just change whatever color you want it to be. And that works really, really nicely. And then if we go back to the main menu, we can go back to mode. I can put it on white and then I can actually dim it down if I want to. So if you want to drive around with your light bar on or you don't want to blind everybody or yourself, you can turn that down. Or if you're in the kind of pitch black in the woods, you can turn this thing up and basically give everybody you know a suntan. And as far as our switches go, we see we got our power one right here, lights up and you can mount that under the dash. You can cut a hole. This kind of has little kind of tabs on it that if you drill the hole that was the right size, you could snap this into a piece of plastic, have a nice flush mount. And then over here, we have our one touch which switches between our light mode and our color mode. So you push this button once and you go right to looking into the sun and you hit it one more time you go back to color mode. So it's kind of nice to have that if you just want to hit it real quick, turn it to the color mode. If you're driving past somebody, you don't want to blind them or anything like that. It really does work pretty nicely. Now, all I got to do now is get all this wiring kind of tied up inside, get my switches where I want them and we're looking pretty good. All right, so now to mount our switches, what we're going to do they actually have a little disconnect on them. So you can disconnect them from the main harness so you can drill your hole wherever you decide to do that. I think I'm gonna put mine right here. Just kind of use a step bit and go to the right size or whatever method you want to use. But we're just gonna drill our hole then we can put our switch through, click it in and then connect it back up to our harness. So there it is everybody, our 42 inch LED light bar from Oxbeam. Big thanks to Oxbeam for sending this out. And if you guys wanna grab one of these, I will have a link in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.